Hi all, welcome to Naresh IT. Myself is Suresh, working as a software testing trainer. Okay. So today we are going to discuss about how exactly we need to make it configure Selenium in your local systems. That means if you want to be start any program in Selenium, what are all the pre-requests? How we need to make it installed with the Selenium that we are going to understanding on it. Right. The very first understanding for the Selenium, we don't have any .exe files like uh, other automation tools. If we take QTP, QTP will get in a .exe file, just will download .exe file, you'll double click on it and it will continue the installation. But the problem with the Selenium is it's got an A, all the components here. It's not like in a directly only one .exe file. We need to be configured with the different things. What are all the things need to be configured? How exactly we need to be configured? We'll understand in a very detailed on it here. Okay, right. Let's understand on it. So let me give any details. What are all the things we need to be get first download to get started working with the Selenium? Okay, the first one, it will be mentioning about taking with JDK.exe. It may be any version based on your system compatibility you can download with any version of the jdk okay once your jdk has been completed then you have to be get download mentioning about taking with eclipse id eclipse version also anything once eclipse part has been available we need to be download selenium web driver jar files here Okay, we need to be download Selenium web driver jar files. And the last, we need to be download mentioning about taking with driver.exe files based on, based on browser. Okay, so based on the browser, this driver.exe files need to be downloaded. Because if you take driver.exe file, assume that you are working with Chrome browser. Okay, if you are working with Chrome browser, then it should be mentioning about Chrome driver.exe. Okay, in case if you are working with Firefox, okay, Firefox or Mozilla, okay, if you are working with the Firefox browser, then you have to be download gecko driver.exe. Okay, but even though this is a .exe files, just you have to be download from the respective Selenium website or from the Google, you can get download on it and it will just save to your local system because of .exe files not required and need to be get take with the installations here. Even though it is in a .exe file, just download it and save it into a local system. Now, let us see that how exactly we need to be get download all these particular things. So, the first understanding if you want to be get started working with the Selenium, first you required with JDK. Okay, you need to be mentioning about JDK.exe. After that, Eclipse and then Selenium web driver jar files and then driver.exe file. When the setup is ready, then you can go ahead writing with the program in the Selenium part here. But all these things you need to be take care of as browser. In case of in your system, Okay, apart from all these particular things, you required in a browser also. It may be any browser. It may be working with the Chrome or taking with the Firefox or you can get work on IE. Any browser you can work on it. But you need to be get understand as in case of browser is higher version, all these things need to be taken about higher version. Browser is lower version all these things need to be take with lower version okay the simple understanding in your system if you got in a browser is lower version then all these particular things need to be take with the lower versions only if browser is higher version and all these particular things need to be take with the higher version so from where we need to be get download all these particular things now we can see that first I can create one new folder okay just you can create one new folder in any of the drive any of the drive first you can create one new folder mentioning about taking with 
selenium installations or selenium just i'll mention that selenium okay what is the first one jdk for that just you can get open with the browser you can just type as a jdk okay or you can mention the jdk download based on your system compatibility you can get download any of the versions for selenium we don't have any pre request like you have to be work with very latest versions here based on your system compatibility you can work with any jdk versions here okay so once you got open the cell get an option is jdk download then based on your system compatibility look into your operating system as we are working with the windows it will be taking with the windows installer and then 64 bit click on this particular part accept on it download okay it will be taking with the download activity next after that the next part you need to be take with the eclipse you can go to this particular google just type as very easy to download it eclipse download eclipse is not like dot exe file you have to be downloaded just will be getting with the zip file you can click on it don't directly click on this download it will be downloading dot exe file we doesn't require dot exe file just click on download packages here click on download packages okay and then Either you can go with Eclipse ID for Java developers, Eclipse ID for Java developer. Anything is fine. Let me take this particular part only. Look into your operating system. Windows 64 bit. Okay. Windows 64 bit. You can select with the option also. You can select an option is India. Okay. This it will be getting started downloading. Okay. So Java got completed. Eclipse also downloading. Let me take jar files. Jar files I will be taking from Selenium. That you can go to the Selenium website. Okay. Just you can type as Selenium HQ. Selenium HQ dot org. There is an official website. And here we will get an option is Selenium web driver. We got other components of Selenium ID and Selenium grid. So we are not working with the other components here. We are working with the Selenium web driver. Just click on download come down i will have different programming languages we are working with the java you got any two things here one is download another one is alpha download so alpha download is a selenium 4.0 currently market is running with the 3.0 in future we can get started working with the 4.0 also for now let's get continue with 3.0 for that just click on download it will download zip file everything it will be getting downloading in a zip file then you can extract on it once it was downloading next you can come down it can take the option is third party because we need to be download the driver.exe file click on third party browser drivers related to chrome driver just click on it they will get in a version better download stable version don't go with the very beta releases here download with the stable one click on it and then you are working with the chrome right it got mentions window 32 bit but it will be working 64 bit also your operating system is 64 bit operating system this chrome driver will be working just you can click on it it will be downloading in case if you are interested working in a firefox browser you can come back take with the firefox gecko driver come down i will get an option is releases releases you can come down okay gecko driver 64 bit it got both the things window 32 bit and 64 bit download 64 bit right so now these are all the things need to be downloaded here right so what are all the things we got mentioned here jdk dot exe file eclipse id that is a just folder you have to be download extract on it and then save to local system after that driver jar files here and then driver.exe file see that now all these six things has been downloaded and then have been taken into one folder you can see here jdk.exe file after that eclipse and after that jar files and after that driver.exe file here so eclipse you have to be extract on it mentioning about just taking with extract here 
now we can see that eclipse will be opening on it just you can open on this double click on it eclipse will be opening it here but before opening with the eclipse make sure you have been completing the jdk installation because jdk that is a dot exe file once you double click on it it will be completing with the installation once this jdk installation has been completed after that only how to be start with the eclipse here okay next this driver dot exe files also you have to be extract on it and even chrome also extract on it so one is chrome driver dot exe gecko driver dot exe so these are exe files even though exe files you are not installing it just will save to local system in actual part of the program you will be providing with the path of this particular files and jar files extract on it will get in a folder okay now we can see here you got in a, all these jar files here these are all the main two jar files these are all the main two jar files and apart from this you will get one more jar file is you have to be open it all the jar files here jar files available in lib folder jar files available in outside of the lib folder that jar files need to be get added to the project here how to add it to the project how we need to be write basic program in selenium that we'll be discussing in the next session here so in this session just we got understand about what are all the things need to be get downloaded to get started working with the selenium you can see that eclipse will get open once eclipse got open then you're ready to get started writing with the selenium program here so in the next video i will be getting talking about in a very detail how we can write a very basic program in selenium and how we can do the automation scripting in selenium so if we got close it this will be getting with the eclipse window to get started working with the selenium programming here okay right just to have any review to get started with the selenium one is jdk.exe file and then eclipse id and then selenium web driver jar files driver.exe file and browser jdk.exe file need to be installed it eclipse id just saving to a local system jar files saving to local system after that need to be get added to your selenium project in eclipse driver.exe file just saving to local system once you write the program in eclipse there you have to be provide path of driver.exe file and then browser to run your application here okay Thank you guys. Meet you in the next video. Thank you.